Hey, Erica. Hey, Chip. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can, yes. You hear me okay? Awesome, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good night. I'm sitting there, you know, all through and thinking, why should I even try? And there's only a few more minutes left of the meeting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, boy. Well, that's okay. You saved it. Yeah, so we don't start till seven, so <laughs> uh, you're all had fine. A, yeah, I had a lot going on around here. Oh, I know. What does ADUs stand for? Um, accessory dwelling units. Okay. All right. Yeah. Also known as granny, granny, apart granny apartments. This has lots of names in the old days. Yeah. Also known as mother-in-law apartment, mother-in-law apartments. Okay. Yeah. And um, we're having uh, Commissioner Rail, not me. Uh, -huh. uh talk about them okay. they're okay. doing uh, some planning and zoning are doing some uh some stuff with with zoning and would like to talk about talk, talk about them with us oh that'd be neat yeah
Chip, we're just waiting waiting for other folks to join. Okay, thanks. No worries. I'm not ignoring you.
Steve. Steven. All right, we're flipping around. That's better. We're going to give people a couple more minutes, not quite seven yet. Welcome back, Phil. You did. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll never learn. That's fine. Hello, Sam. We're just missing uh, Miriam and Jeremy and Brooke. Yeah, we have a quorum. We have five and seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a quorum. I am. Oh, there's Brooke. I am going to get up, and there's nobody in the building, but I'm going to get up and shut the door. I'll be right back. Yes. All right. I am at seven o'clock. Uh, welcome everybody. Sorry for the last minute, you know, for folks that are, are here in person, last minute transition. Um, I believe the public safety building is still dealing with the flood. Um, so I'm gonna call this meeting in order and those that um, come later, come later. Um, Y'all know how I like to run a meeting. So I'm going to call this meeting in order. It is 7.01. So this month's meeting of the Homeless Task Force, I'm going to um, ask first if there are any adjustments to the agenda. No. No? No? Okay. Um, I'm going to ask if there are any public comments, and I only see one guest, and I'm going to assume that Samantha is, is going to comment as she sees fit. I know it. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, we have um, two things to vote on, and we do have a quorum. Uh, and those two things are the minutes from this uh, last, uh, the, the, can't talk, sorry. Um, to, to do the last two, two months me, me, uh, meeting minutes. Do we have any update uh, changes to those minutes? Um, I uh, did not do uh, Philip any justice. I have a correction. Your meeting in August did not have a forum. Therefore, it was not an official meeting 
and there would be no action that we would take. However, we obviously were not there or who knew what was discussed, but I would not submit them to a person. Okay, did everybody hear that? Okay. So we don't need, what you're saying is we don't need to vote on those meeting minutes? Yeah, you didn't have a meeting, so there are no Okay, so we just need to vote on the last meeting, uh, last month's meeting minutes, uh, so August's meeting minutes, oh yeah, August's meeting minutes. Are there any corrections, any, I did not do Philip any justice. Yes, do you have minutes from any other meetings except August? I didn't hear that. No, I have think we <clears throat> from any other meeting except August. That's in Because you had July minutes, which you could not vote on last month, because you don't you didn't have a quorum. Okay. Right. Those we're voting on the July minutes, right, Stephen? Yes, that would make sense. So we're voting now on the July minutes. Okay, so we're voting on the July minutes. Sorry, I'm having a hard time hearing you, Stephen. Am I the only one? No, no, I can't hear him. Okay, Steve, we're having a hard time hearing you. I apologize. Brooke, do you have your hand up? Or that's just my that's just my first. Sorry, I apologize. Okay, so we're not so we have a quorum for the July. Is that what you're you're telling me, Stephen? Okay, uh, that's my thumb up. Okay. So we're not voting on the July. We're going to just move past the July meeting, and then no. You do. You are voting on July. Okay. So not voting on August because there's nothing that happened. And August did not happen because there was no quorum. Right. So they're not really minutes. They're just notes of what happened at the meeting. <clears throat> okay. Jeremy just joined. All right. So we're voting on the July only. Yes. Okay. So are there any welcome, Jeremy? We're just voting. We're just going ahead and vote on the July meeting minutes. Do we have a motion to pass the July meeting minutes? Jeremy, okay. Jeremy, and then we have a second from Phil. I All in favor? Aye. Aye. They Aye. pass. All right. Yay! And then we have the August notes because we didn't have a quorum. We don't need to pass anything. Yay! All right. Um. So now we're just moving right along to new agenda items. Um, update on flood and info hub. Um. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna run right along um last meeting we had the idea of doing um a website and i'm gonna um for folks um to have an, a website up for folks to have a one-stop shop and adam i don't does everybody know who adam is i don't know his last name um he was doing the the info booth out in the um city hall park he gave us a little mock-up of what um, my player was doing for an info hub, and it was a great idea. However, that nothing, um, nobody really, we couldn't really get together with anybody for an info hub on the website design. Um, however, there's going to be, Brooke, I'm going to put you front and center as always, um, about there's going to be an info hub starting up soon at the old police station. Yes, um, I, so Nicholas, sorry, um, so, um, by the progress, um, as possible before winter, people use Vermont to upgrade boilers, but I know he's having a meeting on Friday, and at 
I think it's 9.30 for the people that we had before to see, like, who will be there, what time, and getting more answers, getting it set up. So, work. I'm going to try to try, we, you're, you're cutting out a little bit. So, is it, people are going to have more time to get it set up? I'm sorry. It's okay. So he's having a meeting. Can you hear me now? No, we can't hear you. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, I'm going to switch to my phone. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Brooke, you're muted, so we can't hear you at all. I think she said she was going to switch to her phone. That, that's what normally goes on. Okay. So, yeah, so the I'm just going to go to talk for the sake of talking. Um, so what I've been, so what I, I hopefully, I don't know what broke mine. Um, so unfortunately, the idea of a website kind of is at a stalemate. I apologize to Jeremy because it was such a great idea. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, my player has actually a great website that's a one-stop shop um, where it's, it's not everything included, but it's, it's a lot of the Ethereum. Um, and I, I get distracted. I'm sorry. I have a little ADHD going on right now. Um, so it's, oh, there's work again. Um, so it's, you know, not exactly everything included, but it's a lot of, you know, where to go for FEMA help, where to go for, you know, tenant help, et cetera, et cetera. So there's work is connecting to audio. Hi, Miriam. We're talking about, we're doing flood updates for Barry City. Brooke, do you want to continue about what we're talking about? Um, yep. Um, so can you hear me better now? Yes, thank you. Okay, so um, all I was saying is that Mick, could you hear any of what I said before or no? Uh, not really. <laughs> okay, so first, as far as the recovery goes in the PD or in the OPD, um, Nicholas is having another, or the city manager is having another meeting on Friday with the community providers. And I think then we're going to discuss more of like, who's actually going to be there and what the plan is for the place. Um, and then I will read you the text he sent me just as a city update. So he said, for winter, we'll be using the library as a shelter. We can relocate the portable toilets from the north end to downtown, hopefully next week. Um, there's no recent events of with camping that he's aware of. And situation for people impacted by the flood is in progress. Working to rehab houses as possible before winter, urge people to use Efficiency Vermont to upgrade boilers. So that's kind of all I have from Nicholas in the city. Okay, that that's that's great. Now, do we know how many how many how many buildings were affected? Like. How many people were displaced because of the flood? That, I don't know. Let me look through my notes before I left on vacation and I'll see if there's an, like, if I have that. Um, give me a few minutes. I, I met with Janet Shatney today about flood repair in my own building. And it is her opinion. I think the official word right now is 31 bu buildings are substantially damaged. She's kind of under under the unofficial impression that it's more than that once there's a full kind of evaluation. So Samantha, I'm gonna put you in the hot seat for a minute. Are those buildings like tenant buildings? Are those people or are those just just buildings that there's no way that people can go back to them anytime in the near future? I think that's actual buildings, like 31 buildings. Um, some of those are single family, some of those are multifamily. So, you know, that could be anywhere from 31 housing units up to, you know, 100 housing units, you know, 115 housing units. So anywhere in that realm, but it's 
the official number right now is 31 buildings are substantially damaged. And we don't know how many people those are. No, I mean, at least at least 31 families, but I would assume that, you know, there's probably at least double that. Right. So yeah, we have, so, so there's probably a minimum of 150 people. There's probably no. Well, I don't know. There could be at least I think 150 people displaced is probably a reasonable estimate of the number of humans. Uh, the city manager reported a couple of weeks ago that the count of renters who had been made homeless uh, was 300. Phil, thank you for muting. And Jeremy, please mute. We're not talking. We should stay muted. Thank you. So, so we're saying, so we want to guesstimate 150 minimum, maybe more. And we, we don't know when these folks went. I, I housed four of them in one of my apartments on Wednesday. So at least four of them are now housed. But yeah, I, th that family in particular, they and another family had been um, roomed up with another family. There was 11 people in a one bedroom unit. So it sounds like that's kind of the norm for these people that have been displaced is they're kind of doubling and tripling up in, in different locations. And so we, we know that the, the library is going to open up a, a warming shelter for the winter. We know that there's going to be a hub at some point for people to get resources with some kind of services or but we don't know who, what, when, where. Uh, we know that the shelters are full, which is going to be the norm for a very long time. So, to, and we know that the FEMA application, the deadline is, is looming. So, where, so the folks are, are going to be basically on the, on the streets. Phil, Phil, you have your hand up. Phil, you're muted. If you're going to. I know, yeah, I'd always had to find myself on the screen. I'm, I'm a little confused. Is our focus shifting to people who are displaced by the flood? I'm, I'm just not understanding. Um, because prior to the flood, we were focusing on people who were homeless or unhoused. And, mm -hmm. I, and I do understand that people who were displaced by the flood are unha unhoused, but it's a, different, it's a different animal. So I'm just curious what we're doing. Well, I think we're, we're dealing with all sorts, I mean, these, the, we have all sorts of folks, you know, we have folks that are displaced because of the flood, they're homeless. This is almost, we have like a new, new breed. Of, this is so horrible of me to say, we have a new breed of homelessness now because we have a minimum of 150 people that are out somewhere. Uh, you know, I, I understand that. I'm just asking if our focus is shifting or. Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Because it seems like this info hub and what Samantha was ta talking about and everything else is focusing on people who are displaced by the flood. We still have that initial group that. Right. And, and what? Oh, my... No, and I, Brooks, Brooks hands up. And I'm hearing my see your hand just pop up, but I imagine this info hub is for anybody who's displaced. Mm -hmm. Period. Brooke, your hand is up. Yep. Um, so just to, I guess, add to that, um, <clears throat> before the flood, we had a what we call the summit between Montpelier, Berlin, and Barry regarding the homeless people and the homeless population. And um, we're starting that back up next Wednesday. And Tanya from the Green Mountain United Way will be running that, but we're starting 
that back up as well, because with the already pre-existing homelessness population and then with the people that are displaced by the flooding, um, it's kind of scary of what's going to happen once it gets colder. And um, during the Thrive meeting, we discussed like people sheltering in place. However, they haven't been like cleaned out. So there's a concern about their mold. So who knows how long they'll be able to stay in their homes. So I think it's just everyone, but to also give that update on just the homelessness piece that we were focused on before the flood. Great, thank you. Mary, have you had your hand up? Yeah, I was just gonna say that I remember us talking about the information hub previous to the flood, that it was just something that was gonna be for everybody. Like right. the resource center. Sorry, Mary. That, resource, that resource list, Miriam, is that what you mean? That like kind of the resource directory of like where you can get different services and food meals and clothing or whatnot. Yeah, I thought we had discussed that like as an information oh. hub thing that could maybe go by the name of the park across from the Barry Opera House, I still don't know, and I don't want to call it Naked Guy. <laughs> City Park. City Thank Park. You. <laughs> or the Naked Man Park. We call it that. <laughs> so, okay. So we we have, so there's a lot of unknowns jumbled, jumbled around, as always. Um, and and Phil, for your concern, I, I think, you know, yeah, there's there's just there's so much and we're trying to juggle a lot. And so okay. Um, so we're gonna have more updates coming up, but I really wanna get to um, our our guest um, who's probably gonna overwhelm me. Um, Commissioner Rail from, I'm going to get this wrong, Planning and Zoning? Planning Commission. Planning Commission, um, who's going to give us a little briefing on what they're working on and probably, I'm going to guess Sam knows a little bit about this as well, probably more than I do as well. Um, ADUs in the city? Yeah, so this is me. Can, can, can you tell what ADUs are? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Sorry. Also, I have a couple, of, just a couple of things to get into real quick. I don't have a lot of detail on a lot of these. I think it's more just kind of informational and just kind of saying kind of some of the stuff that's coming up. So the first one is, yeah, ADU is, um, oh shoot, <laughs> that's, that's weird. I'm actually drawing a blank. It's, um, what it stands for? Because we're dwelling in it. It's a thing. So you know. Um, Success rate dwelling unit. It's the, the basic idea is it's when someone builds like a smaller house or apartment attached to their main house so that like a family member can live there or something like that. They're kind of colloquially called mother mother in law apartments. Um, so that was one thing that we had been working on, and we had a proposal before council last week for our first reading that failed. Um, and that won't go into all the details. There's just a couple little updates, um, but that's something. We had originally discussed it like a year ago when the housing issue was already a big issue and of course it's much worse now so it was kind of frustrating that it, that it didn't go anywhere but it, right now it's going to go back to the planning commission and we're going to kind of work on it again and resubmit something to city council um, so recognizing that um, housing is only part of the issue regarding homelessness it is an important issue and this is something we're working one of the things we're working on that will try to address that. So I think if it's something that anybody has any interest in, um, you can, you know, either attending the upcoming planning commission meetings where it's going to be discussed and or more importantly, when it goes before council again, I don't know when that's going to be yet, but we can pass on the information we have it to kind of speak in favor of it. Um, so I'd say if, if you're interested in giving your input about how we could change that, then the, the planning commission meetings would be, um, will be the way of going if, if you're interested in supporting it once it's um, or speaking to it once it's once it's ready to go to council and then those meetings will be the way to go. I don't have the exact dates for when those are going to happen yet. We will probably have a brief discussion on it on the next planning commission meeting which is scheduled for next Thursday. That hasn't been warned yet. So I don't want to say for sure it's going to happen. We're still working on the 
the agenda that someone can keep an eye on. Um, and then more broadly, we're also working on a project. I think I, I come before this, this board before to briefly talk about this, and it's moved on a little bit since then. We're working on a couple, of, we were working on a couple of grants to kind of look at wider changes across the city to encourage kind of more housing and, and more development. Um, and neither of those is kind of ready anywhere near that level yet. Um, but we did get both grants, so those are both going to be moving forward. Um, right now, um, there's a RFP or a request for um, a request for proposal out for both of them for um, for consultants to come in and kind of help us figure them out. Um, so likewise with those, I would say if, if that's something that anybody has any ideas on or think they might have ideas on, to kind of keep an eye on when um, when they're being discussed and then come to get your input. And we can pass so once we know those dates, we can pass on the information so anybody can do that. Um, we'll probably make postings on front porch one and stuff too. So just something to keep an eye on um, in the future for both of those. The ADU one more, more closely. So um, I saw Phil's Phil scan go up first. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I didn't get what the consultants will be consulted about. So we we currently have two grants that we applied for for. Um, one of them is to revise the North Main Street plan, which is a plan that, that was originally implemented well before I was involved. And that was sort of to, to um, that was sort of to revitalize sort of the North Main Street, the Summer Street area. And the other one is more broadly about just general zoning updates in the city. So the what the consultants would be doing would be sort of reviewing what's already in place and giving their feedback for how we can change it. They won't make any final decisions, but um, they would just be experts in their field who could sort of point us in the right direction and give us ideas. Um, as of right now, we don't actually have consultants. The RFPs are out. I believe they are due back on Thursday. Um, so hopefully we'll hear something then and then we can start moving on those. All right, thank you. Uh, Stephen has his hand up. Thank you. Can you hear me better now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Joe, you may not have the answer to this, but I was contacted after last week's council meeting by a citizen who attended who was raising the possibility of a revisit and revote to what was defeated last week at the next council meeting when there will be a full compliment including the mayor. Do you have any feedback or, or I, I I know there's been some talk of that. I don't know for sure cert, for certain what is going to happen and how it will come out. I mean that's that's basically council business at this point, so I don't know for sure. Um I basically I think I know as much as you do that that is being talked about. Um, Thank you. So if that does happen that would sort of um Kind of make the first part of what I said irrelevant because it would be what we already put forward, which is get approved, hopefully. Um, so that is a possibility. So that would be another thing to consider. If again, if folks are interested in this, to to come to the next council meeting and, and possibly speak to that. So my question for you is, if people want to talk to, who would they reach out if they want to talk more in depth about this? Who would they reach out to? Um, I would say, yeah, you could reach out to me. I can give, um, have Eric pass on my email separately if you want to email me and then I can kind of, if it's a question I, if it's a question I can answer, I will, and if not, I kind of know where I can figure out where it can go to. Um, I don't know. But um, here, I think I have the power of putting, right, Jack? Uh, no, I will use, um, do I do I do it? Well, we I, I can I can if people contact me if you want uh, Commissioner Rails email address and I can give it to you if you want to talk to him uh, privately about this. Um, so, any other questions for Commissioner Rail? Who also happens to be a partner? So, there's that. Uh, no, okay. So, um, where did Brooke go? She's right there. Um, 
So, uh, Stephen, I believe you had some updates from the the the. I cannot think of the name. The the interfaith. Yes, but before I do that, I want to take up an item. On the, I want to take up an issue under the PCD item about city resources. Sure. Uh, I have now at uh, the city council meeting a couple of years, weeks ago, it's four weeks ago, raised the issue of the number of porta potties that are in the city. It's my own opinion that there are not enough. Also, I, I wonder or I suggest that we should pressure the city to be able to find a place for a couple of portable showers. The morning shelter in the library enables those people to use the bathroom. I'm sure what happens is there's a line and it gets crowded because they are, that's, their, uh, that's the place where they can get clean and, and I get that. So I, I really would like to see us, we're not talking about a lot of money, we're talking about something which is basic to one's feeling of humanity, that they're able to you know, take a shower and get clean. So um, I don't know if the motion is in order that we should be close to city or what. So I see what other people how you feel about this. Well, well, we have we have time to take it up. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it is a good. Where where are people showering besides? Another, you know, I know they're going to a, another way to shower, which is in Montpelier. Where are people showering? Those people who are living in shelters have access to that, but we also know there are a lot of people who are sleeping outside. I would I'm sorry. And, uh, no, 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 it's, it's a good discussion point. Do we want to take this up as a discussion? Show of hands. I'm putting my hand up. I see two, three, okay. Yeah, okay, let's, so we were promised, we have, Miriam, you have your, is that your hand for a question? Yeah, I mean, I thought there was, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing the shower question, but also I heard something about three porta potties, and I thought they were going to give us like, like more, like five or ten or something, and did they just not get placed because of the flood? And like, I'm on board about a shower. But also, like, people who want a shower will find one. And so, uh, I, I don't know about that. I think it's easy enough. If we're going to make a motion requesting the city to put out more porta potties, I don't think that we compromise it by saying, and also look into the possibility of two or three portable showers. I, that's that's what I would suggest. Oh, well, we have we have Brooke on the line. Brooke, what happened to all the porta potties? My understanding is is that there are currently five, and I could be wrong about that. I'd have to we'd have to get that. But I think that's what the manager said. Here. I, I'm not sure. Um, I, sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry ask. So, I don't understand, like, what do you mean what happened? I mean, I think they're on the north end, and then, like I said, that um, Nicholas said tonight, like, about moving them more in the center of Barry. Mm -hmm. um, That's why I'm saying we only have three out. See, I felt like we had five or six as well. I can check with Nicholas and then I'll text him right now and see if he gets back to me. Okay. Yeah, so I think that's maybe where the information hub comes in because like, to be fair, I'm not walking in downtown Barry a lot, but like I haven't seen them and I haven't heard anything about them. Maybe there needs to be like more updated information on the city website 
Would that be helpful? That, that's a very good idea. I do know there are at least two porta potties in the north end, and they are they were put there for the people who were living in those houses who have lost them. So we have again that combination of serving a new homeless population as well as the continuing. But uh, so I'll be curious to see what the, the manager says to Brooke. And we could pass a motion just saying we want the city to research putting out more porta potties and at least three portable showers. And I'm prepared to make that motion if I think it needs. Make a motion. Make a motion. I'll write a letter, Stephen. I move we request the city to consider increasing the number of porta potties and also the possibility of making available three portable showers. Two second. All in favor? Aye. Phil? Are you gonna do you want to vote on this? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's difficult for me to write and think. Um, who was the second? It was Miriam. Thank you. Okay. And yeah, I vote. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see all the hands. One, two. Looks like it's Miriam. Oh, it looks like she's unanimous. All right. Oh, it looks like I'm writing the letter. Thank you. I'm writing a note to myself to do so. Now, if you want, I'll move to uh, two things that I reported. I did report. Can, can we wait? Can we hold on a second, Stephen? Does it make sense to offer suggestions for locations for those things in the letter, or should that be a discussion after the city kind of approve, uh, agrees to that? We passed uh, the motion, so we're stuck with what we passed. And I, I think a way to approach what you're suggesting is saying, is for the chair to say, uh, we are open and we look forward to a discussion, if you want, of placement. Yeah, yes. Thank I think, you. I think specifically what is important to consider too, uh, right? Like I hear portable shower and I think like a, like a camping shower, which is basically a water bladder with a, uh, Take it at the end, which maybe maybe that's what's in mind. But uh, I suspect well, you. Have I think we have to open the discussion to answer questions like that. Well, also, okay, we passed the motion, folks. I think we may want to move on and not revisit it. Well, well, one thing is just I'm just saying that FEMA has FEMA trailers just for this. So, all right. So we we're running out of time. Update, Stephen, go. Uh, I sent you all a PDF of the presentation that the government of the Treasury's forum on homelessness because I thought that that summarized things far better than I could in anything to you. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at it. If you haven't and you want to see it again or you didn't want to watch it, let me know. Uh, I have found it very useful in talking about the issue of homelessness with people who are just not informed. Today, I attended the Vermont the Interfaith Action Annual Meeting. They have five or six what they call local organization committees, which focus on a variety of social justice issues. Housing and homelessness is one of such committee or task force and i am now a member of it and basically one gets on these these groups if you're if you are a member of a faith organization or, or congregation that is a, a member of vermont the faith action uh, there are quite a few of the congregations here in barry who are members of that that, that updated uh, offline. 
the there's also uh, organizing uh, task forces on prisoner issues, immigration, etc. Uh, they operate primarily as a lobbying organization representing the faith communities in the state. And they have been fairly effective. They listen to what they got involved with respect to homelessness. We've already talked about they were very involved in the in the uh, in the issues surrounding hotel and hotel. They were very active in seeing that the appropriation for new housing set aside a number of units for people um, guaranteeing that they would be affordable. I will I will extract their summary of their activity in the housing and homelessness area and from their report and email it to you. So briefly that's what's going on. If you have questions of course you can ask me now or you can email or call me later. So Stephen, I did not see that in my inbox. Can you please resend that? Which did you not see? The 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 item that you were talking about, the report that was you said you said to everybody. Uh, the PDF did go to you, but I'll send it again. Yes, please do, because I for some reason I cannot send I cannot find that in my inbox. Okay. Could you make sure you send it to me as well, Stephen? I don't remember seeing it either. I may not have sent it to you, Samantha. I may have only sent it to the committee, but I will definitely see to it that you get it. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, are there any other items on the agenda that we have not covered? I'm looking and I don't see anything. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm boiled. It's, there's no air conditioning here, we're boiling. <laughs> um, Y'all were smart to stay home. Uh, anything else coming up down the pipes that should, we should be aware of? Um, I'm looking at you all out there in TV land. No, I, I see shakes of heads. Okay. Well, not as far as I know. <laughs> okay. So, unfortunately, I'm sorry. My brain is frying. Um, I'm going to have... I'm, my brain is, is, is really frying. I apologize. Um, any other... And I lost the agenda. I don't think I had anything else on the agenda. Um... The two things that are from this, this topic that are concerning me are uh, just always what, what's going on out there. Um, and we just, just, you know, it's hot, it's cold, we don't know what the weather's doing. Um, so I think we are going to end early. And I'm looking at the calendar, calendar for October. I know that we talked about doing it. That's not what I wanted. Um, our next meeting would be October 4th. And I know that we talked about doing it um, by um, every, every two weeks. Um, that I, I apologize. That just got a little too much for me. Um, if and I know I'm chair, but it, it just it was, it was just too much. I apologize. And I know that this very concerning population we're talking about. Um, so if we want to meet October 4th, um, and if things pop up in people's radar, 
feel free to reach out to me and I can I can email folks. I have everybody's email. Um, if people want to reach out to Commissioner Rail, I'm more than happy to share his contact information. Um, please keep your nose to the grind, you know, keep your not the grindstone, that's that's icky. Um, to what's going on up there and we'll share information. And again, I apologize for mixing my things, but we're 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 we're, we're frying in here. So uh, please be good to each other. Uh, let me know if if I can help you in any way or if things come up and you're concerned about it, I'll give to to the people you need to talk to. Uh, and I'll write this letter and send it out um, for y'all to edit and look at, and then I'll put it forth. I have no problem doing that. Does everybody remember what I'm putting a letter to to put forth to council? <laughs> Just doing a little quiz. Be, be all on your toes. All right, I see some nods. Look, is there see Jeremy nodding? <laughs> All right, y'all, be safe out there. Stay, stay cool. Hopefully this heat breaks. Have a great night. Be good. Bye, everyone. Bye.